Oh yeah, one thing I wanted to point out here was look at the tessellation. Is that the right word? Tessellation is when you take a pattern and then you slide it and then you slide it and you slide it. Yeah, so the, the tessellation on the glass or whatever it is on the outside oh, this, of this, the You're talking about this stuff? Yeah. Okay. So so what is it? It's There's two types of hexagons being repeated so you have again like a and regular, again. A regular hexagon. Yep. And then these two side two length hexagons how do i say this long yeah. side short side hexagons yeah and then they're in some sort of pattern where it looks like there's this i don't know how you would make a unit cell for that but i wonder why they chose that particular pattern was it is that a yeah good question so yeah so first thing was i thought this was like a soccer ball yep. it was a soccer ball soccer ball is hexagons and pentagons mm -hmm. and you think it wouldn't work out but it does i mean soccer balls, soccer balls mm -hmm. exist and so if you get a hexagon hexagon they're all the same hexagons then you then you wouldn't get a curvature you get a flat plane and, right. then, and then you get honey you get honeybees right or mm -hmm. honey bee comb or uh, honey all comb. bees honey. all bees do yeah. this you get you get comb but i guess because when you get hexagons and pentagons then then it somehow is the right shape to form a sphere mm -hmm. And so I guess that's that's I think that's what they did here. I mean, you start off with hexagons yep. in like a tessellated two D array, and then you start shrinking some of them, and then it curves into a sphere. That makes sense to me. It's just yeah. I mean, I, I guess that has to be the motivation. You they couldn't make a giant glass ball with no, I don't know what you would call it, joints, mm -hmm. and they couldn't make a force field thing i guess and so well, because if you join... ever have power down then everyone dies <laughs> like, oh gosh you, you do yeah. want some physical structure yeah so they need joints and they need mm -hmm. glass of some type whatever it is transparent mm -hmm. aluminum and then so this is the pattern they've chose they probably had lots uh, of patterns to choose from but this and is then the one from they chose. an engineering perspective it's much easier to make the 120 degree angles than it is to make a hexagon that meets with a pentagon so whatever whatever oh. that thing is I like yeah. that. Yeah. The angles were easier to manufacture. Mm -hmm. and easier also means more consistent, which means consi yeah. higher, higher security, higher strength. Yeah. Yep. Although Gosh. I wonder, I wonder, Go is ahead. it, cause, cause what, is it the right shape? Because I could also imagine this being close to the right shape and then you end up with like a flat spot on the bottom. <laughs> yeah. So I guess, uh, then you might have like, I don't know what you would call it, like a shim shape. Like a, to just fill in the mm, the missing yep, piece yep. if it doesn't perfectly tessellate so on the sphere. So ugly, so ghetto. Yeah, you're just like, oh, we'll put some play doh right there, <laughs> <and> cover it <laughs> up, like, right? <laughs> but maybe this docking thing, they can put all the extra space into this docking section, oh. and so any misalignment is lost into this. Um, I don't know, opening for the spaceships yeah, to come in and out. Any minutes alignment, you just cover it up and you turn you turn the problem into a feature. Yep, and yep. it's like, oh, this is where we put a do the space dock. You just, space the dock should come in yeah. and cover it up. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And some mathematician comes along and is like, that's not going to tessellate right. And you're like, that's right. That's why right. Tessellate? But that's do you why see how it exists? It's clearly working. <laughs> mathematician, sit down. Sit down. <laughs> Take a seat. <laughs> Dang. Uh, oh. <laughs> I'm just asking a question. Sit down. Sit down. It's already why functioning. Do... Yeah. 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 yeah why? Okay. <laughs> Dang, that engineer yeah. was mean. A mean <laughs> engineer. Yeah. What super cool, cool structure. Cool structure. Probably very interesting tech. It's a snow globe in space, though. Yeah. Yeah. The unit cell question was interesting. I don't know how to solve that. Yeah. I think there's a lot of math theorems about unit cells and tessellation and different shapes, but I don't know them off the top of my head for sure. I'm familiar with the standards unit cells for crystallography for 3d condensed matter but i've never i've never thought about that one yeah 